Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Dunstone from Duncode and today we are going to talk about a uh, bulk image downloader Chrome extension. Uh, I'm excited to introduce you to this uh, extension, so hope you enjoy. So have you ever found yourself uh, needing to download multiple images from a list of uh, image URLs? Well, if that is the case, I think I have a solution for you. So stick around as I walk you through how this Chrome extension works and how you can start using it right away. So let's start with a quick uh, overview of what this extension does. So basically the, this uh, Chrome extension is called the Back Image Downloader Chrome extension. Obviously you can already understand what it does. Bulk Image Downloader from URL list. So it allows you to download multiple images from a list of your image URLs, okay? So whether you are a web developer, you designer, you someone who just wants to download budgets of images, this extension is designed to help you with that. So I found myself in a situation before where I have uh, like so many images in my, you know, hosting account and I want to download specific images. That is just a specific use case, but it's nice to talk about it. So I, I wanted to download a particular set of images. I have the URLs, I have the links. But the issue is I cannot go through the images one by one. So if you found yourself in such a scenario where what you have at hand is a list of URLs and you want to download, so this extension is specifically meant to do. There are not many extensions that do this. Uh, I tried to search uh the store i could not find so i decided to create one if you're looking for a similar solution this can help you so let's dive into what uh, you know this extension some of the features so first off uh, you can specify the image formats which you want to download so let me just uh, begin showing you uh, so we have the file types first here at the top is the total url so depending on the number of images you're going to put there the image urls it will tell you how many you have so let me just copy a couple of them. So let's see. So if we paste the URLs there, it'll tell you you have 39. So then below that, we have the file type, which is basically a selection of uh, the file type you want to download. If you select all, then that means it will not filter any image types. So you'll be able to download all images. But if you select, say, JPEG, JPG, then the extension will just download uh, JPEG, JPG images only from a list of what you already have so it will ignore all other image urls and download just specific set which is the jpg file type so you can also select multiple or if you want to you don't want to limit yourself then you can just click the all option then it will download all of them then if you click a uh, I mean if you type uh, the prefix it will add a prefix to your images, then a suffix, obviously, after the file name, then a folder. You can specify the folder name if you want the images to be stored in a folder. All right. So then the strip uh, duplicates uh, button is for removing duplicates. Suppose you have, uh, you know, um, a list of URLs and you are not sure if they are duplicates, you can just click strip duplicates. You can see we have 39. I don't know if we have duplicates, but let's try and see. We don't have any duplicate. Let me just copy this and then uh, paste them there. And then I want to show you how it will clean the duplicates for you. So I paste there. So we have 78 URLs now. So if I go ahead and click strip duplicates, watch what happens. So the URLs are back to 39. But if you, you know, sometimes you can have uh, images having the same file name, but they are actually different. So in that case, if you're not sure about that, then you can just ignore the strip duplicates button and just download your images so you'll have duplicates the extension will download duplicates in that case so you should be aware of that but if you want to avoid duplicates just click the strip duplicates and you'll be fine let's specify a couple of things here let's just say any random prefix let's give it a suffix there let's give it a folder name folder it can be anything depending on what you want so i'll click download images and we'll see what we have here so in this case, the extension will go on to download the images immediately. So after they are, we know the download is complete. I'll show you how it to, you know, schedule the downloads. So the meaning the downloads will happen when you want them to happen. So that is coming. So for now, I want to show you what we have there. So the images are downloading. You can see here. All right. All images have been downloaded. So you can see we have the prefix yh yh jjj jjj there so the images are you know 
uh, downloaded all of them, the file types, uh, it did not specify uh, the file types to target. So we just downloaded all images. I think we just have PNG files there. But if we had JPEG, it would easily download plus the JPEG and other file formats. So let me show you what we have. So inside my folder, the new folder which we just downloaded, it contains our images. So here are the images which have been downloaded. Okay, the folder is FOL which we specified. Then you can actually see there's a JPG image there, image file, file type image. And then there's a JP, uh, PNG. Yeah, you just have two file formats, PNG and JPG, only those ones. So let's try to download just a JPG file, okay? Let's just target the JPG file because we already have one there. So it's good if we can go ahead and give it a go. Let's paste the URLs back as uh, 39 URLs. So I want to just download the JPG file type only. So if I ignore filling these ones, the Chrome extension will not add any prefix. It will not add any suffix. But I, I just want to specify the folder name there because I always want to stay organized. So you can see one image has been uh, downloaded there. So 81.jpg. So you can see you, when you target a specific file type, that is the uh, one which will be downloaded. So it goes into our folder. The folder name is UHU. And there is the file JPG. Just one file downloaded. So now let's schedule uh, the downloads to happen when we want them. So I'll copy my images again. And I'll go to the options page of my Chrome extension. So click uh, the extensions icon and then click the options. So here we go. So the bulk image downloader from URL list scheduler. So the first thing we need to do is create a task. So you can have as many tasks as you want. So there you go. So I'll paste the images in there. So you can drag this if you want. If it's, you want to reduce whatever you please, it's draggable. So you can always see what you have in your text area, which holds the image URLs. So we have that. So the next thing, just, uh, you know, it, it, it works the same way as the pop-up. So nothing really is different here. You can always change the formats if you want. So if you want, you select all formats. It will select all these others because basically all formats mean you can download any file format. So then you can specify your, your prefix. You can specify your suffix. You can specify your folder name. And then, this is now where it gets interesting. You can specify the time when you want the download to happen. So you can select your uh, time. All the uh, previous, uh, the past dates are, you know, grayed out because you cannot set a, a date in the past. So I'll select uh, two minutes uh, to happen in two minutes. That is 11.04. That is 11.06. So also, if I want to click the strip duplicates, I can do that to remove the, any duplicates. But I don't have any duplicates. So then I'll click save options so that saves the task you can add as many tasks as you want yeah so the all formats is pre-selected by default so you can always change to any file formats you want and then you can also use the remove button to remove the tasks if you don't want to have if you're not using it so we wait for this one to download the images let's wait for 1106 and see what we have so we've selected all formats so the this should download all images regardless of the file type it will take the prefix it will take the suffix and it will take the folder name and this date there we go we wait so you can see the uh, images are downloading from this side this is 1106 i don't know yeah, you can see the timer there but it's 1106 yeah so the images are downloading there so that should be it yeah so if you this extension helps you in one way or another i would appreciate you know liking the video leaving a comment asking me a question or you know if you stuck or not able to use it i can explain but it's really straightforward as you can see so let me know your thoughts if it's something you are sharing you can share if the chrome extension has helped you in one way or another leave a rating a five star rating i'll appreciate uh, and then you can always uh, adjust if there is anything that needs to be added and then it will be perfect and you know many people will find it and be able to use it but I've, I'm happy that it has worked for me and I hope it's something that can assist you also in your day-to-day -to -day downloading activities to make your work easier. So guys, subscribe and let me see you in the next video. See you.